Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. Um, I am working in the basement clearing out this house. That's why I've got this mask at the ready because it's quite dusty. There's been mice down here and I want to be uh, a little safer. <laughs> um, I am starting to go through this pile, this pile right here today. Um, the goal of this episode, uh, one, I'm waiting on the dump bin to show up. So we're going to start taking trash out uh, on this episode and start clearing things up. Uh, which means that I have to get, there's a bed under here. I got to get the mattress uh, and the box spring out to the dumpster when that comes, uh, which means that all this junk on top has to be sifted, sorted, and either get, get it ready to throw out or I don't know, figure out what to do with it. So follow along today's episode as I continue clearing out this house. Uh, as for me, I'm going to get back to it. Let's go. Last episode, I made a little path kind of around there. I've been sort of backfilling with things that might be salvageable. Uh, some vintage clothes and so forth. Um, what I've been finding so far is that a lot of this is empty boxes. However, I just, oh, what is this? There's a bag. Uh, Blue Mountain Pottery Duck. Yep. These were really collectible at one point. I don't know where they stand in terms of collectability now, but I will set it aside because somebody will probably think that's cool and want it. Uh, we have some books and some cassettes. Let's see, we've got Sinatra. Who else is in here? What other books we have? Sam Cooke, there's there's some good music right there. My truck actually still has a cassette deck in it. Kind of a mix, so you got Rolling Stones, you got classical music. Was that Bob Dylan? So uh, Phantom of the Opera, really big mix. Oh, there's a good one, Paul Simon Graceland. So maybe some decent cassettes in here. And surprisingly, some, if they're still factory sealed, can be worth some good money. There are cassette collectors. Didn't used to be, but there's cassette collectors out there now. Um, so this will go in the, uh, likely in the keep and we'll probably sell that box of cassettes at auction pile. Incidentally, pretty much anything that's sellable here will be going through auction, uh, likely at Kastner auctions. Um, what do we have here? Looks like a scarf. Oh no, maybe it's a shirt. You can tell from the tag. Let's see, the Julia collection. Hmm, interesting. Well, I've got to start uh, really getting this cleared off because at any moment that dumpster could arrive and we have to get, uh, we've got to get this prepared for that. So less chatter, more get at her. Clearing stuff off the bed. Uh, there was a fur coat. It was absolutely nasty. It was on the floor. Mice had gotten to it, so unfortunately I had to throw it out. A couple pairs of vintage denim, uh, including Calvin Klein. And then this kind of nice beige pleated skirt was there. Um, and it says it's uh, Robert Cheyenko Paris, made in France. So that seems slightly fancier than your average, although it seems like it might be like a polyester material. Um, that is kind of cool. We'll check that out. And it seems to be like it's in good shape too. So um, the other thing I noticed as I'm clearing this off and we're getting the paper out of here and stuff that's been spilt on it over the years, this bed is still made ready for company. The sheets are all, there's your matching set there and your sheets are on it. Like it was ready to go for somebody to come and stay in that day just didn't happen for 40 years, let's say. Since I'm finding stuff in here from the early 80s on top of it and late 70s, I'm guessing it's been over 40 years since somebody probably slept on that bed. I'm the first guy to clear this bed off since the 70s or 80s. It's a wild thought. Found this and I thought it was kind of cool. It's old uh, wrapping paper. Some of it's still unused in the packaging. And there's a couple sort of fun ones. Like that, the big eyes kind of artwork it was popular back in the 60s and then you've got sort of like these little kid themes no girls allowed boy birthday so that's kind of cool um 
The other thing is, this entire house is covered in asbestos linoleum. <laughs> it's likely going to be a teardown. I mean, between the, the rotted bathroom and the, unfortunately, like they did spend some money. It has a newer hot water tank and newer heater down here. But um, somebody's likely going to tear this house down because it, it's really expensive to abate asbestos. You have to tent the house and everything. And this house is covered head to toe in asbestos. Um, not terrible for you as long as you don't disturb it. Like if I start ripping it up and fibers get in the air, that'd be bad. Um, so we're just going to let that lay on the ground where it is, the linoleum and not touch that. And I'm going to keep focusing. You can see where I've been. See my, my nice, neat little area. Well, it's not so neat, but you can see the wedge. I've been standing right there and doot, 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 putting stuff in garbage bags. Oh, which reminds me, I've got to go get another garbage bag. Um, cause I have to keep working my way across the bed. The goal is to access that mattress. So when the dump vein comes, it can go out the door. <laughs> Look, hand puppet time with rubber gloves on. Hmm. Oh, you can tell I've been in this house too long. I'm starting to get loopy. Here's something kind of cool. Rolling Stone shirt. Yes, but it's from their urban jungle tour, Europe, 1990. So it's a, it's a tour shirt. Let's set that aside. There are lots of collectors for tour shirts. And uh, Rolling Stones, well, heck, why not? It's not quite like finding the Beatles. Oh, that squeaking sound, by the way. My gloves, of course, I can't make it do it. It's like when you sit on a leather couch and you make a squeaking sound, everybody thinks you had a little uh, air escape your body. I just did that with my rubber glove. Now it sounds bad. <laughs> okay, back to the cleaning. Oh, but look, hang on, look. Look how much I've gotten done so far. You Look, you can see a bed. Most of this is empty boxes, and I will get to that, but uh, you can see the bed after 40-odd years. There it is. I wonder what's underneath it, though. What do you guys think is underneath the bed that hasn't been cleared off in 40 years? Maybe stuff from 41 years ago? Well, we'll find out soon enough. It is the next morning. Um, no dumpster as of yet. It should be coming at some point throughout the day today. Uh, that's okay because I kind of have plans um, and that is to continue getting trash picked up in the basement. I still have a lot of work to do in that one room. Uh, it's early yet. It's 8.32 in the morning according to that clock and that clock is still pretty accurate. Uh, so I'm going to go back downstairs and continue picking up trash. I am finding little things along the way. There's a couple of things I didn't mention even in this kitchen that are cool. Um, one is the 1950s Formica... Uh, snowflake top uh, table. That's actually kind of a nice 1950s piece and it's got a couple of the chairs. I might find the other chairs in the basement, who knows. Um, so there's a few little gems kicking around here. There's a lot of exploration to do and that'll likely come uh, once I get the trash out, I can actually start exploring again. Um, I'm focused primarily on garbage because that'll give me a lot of breathing room and space around here. Um, so back down to the basement I go. I'm going to get my gloves on, get my mask at the ready, and uh, we'll go do a little cleanup down the basement again. I'm kind of working my way from that room into this room because I want to have a path and I want to get the garbage off the floor. But check this out. This stuff is literally stuck to the floor. It's like adhered like crazy glue. Look, it actually ripped the fabric off and left it on the floor. That's how long this stuff's been sitting down here. So I'm gonna peel as much stuff off the floor as I can. This is not a glamorous job for anybody watching at home who's like, oh, Alex has a glamorous job. No, it is not. It's actual hard work and gross, uh, but yet rewarding. And so I do it. And it'll be rewarding once I make this path go all and that's my goal because I want to get back to those cabinets and desks and things back there. So it looks like there's some interesting stuff in here. So I will continue to tunnel all the way through. I found in this room a whole bunch of jewelry boxes, tons of jewelry boxes that are all empty. They're just piles of them. So there's a lot of jewelry and plus... A uh, watch box for a Jules Jurgensen watch, which is actually a decent quality watch. No watch inside, but there's a box. I'm hoping I find maybe a stash somewhere. But as I go through some of these boxes, 
probably no surprise, wrapped up in some of this tissue paper, we have more Beanie Babies with little protectors on their tags. Just Beanie Babies everywhere. So I'll create another box for the Beanie Baby stuff. Um, but that tells me there might be some things that this person valued in this room or maybe in the basement. And it's not just all trash chucked down here. Uh, and there certainly was a lot of it. There's a lot of yarn. And that's wrapped in a plastic bag. So that's going to be perfectly fine. Um, yeah, just kind of... Oh, there goes my glove again. I promise you it's my glove. <laughs> anyway, um... I can get the door open a tiny bit more. I can see there's more jewelry boxes lying down there. Um, but where is all the jewelry? I know we found some upstairs, but um, maybe there's more somewhere around here. Either way, we got to find a little safe spot for all these guys. Okay, time for a little update. I emptied a bag out into this box because it was full of uh, Cabbage Patch dolls and Cabbage Patch tags. But there's several more dolls and then all their little birth certificates and stuff like that. A bunch more Beanie Babies. But almost more importantly, I can walk in here. And I found that there's a closet door. Which is buried behind all this stuff. So, of course, you know me. I'm going to have to dig to get to that door because uh, this is Curiosity Inc. after all. And I'm curious to know what's in there. Um, also... There's a Kodak uh, carousel projector, oh, just all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. So um, I, I'm going to continue working on the floor here, but guess what? There's a closet and who knows what's in there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Found this garbage bag on the ground and instead of just tying it up and chucking it out, we're going to have a look inside. Avon, here's my heart soap. Oh, look, it's little Disney characters inside. Maybe there's soaps, but that's a Mickey and a Donald. And it looks like a princess. So that's, uh, are they candles? Oh, those are candles. Those are Disney candles. Well, that's kind of neat. We'll keep that aside. I'll set that there for now. I'll go put it in my box, my keeper box later. We've got some scrapbooks. Oh, it's a Butterick dressmaking book patterns okay important to go through the garbage because sometimes the garbage bags have interesting stuff inside of them geez that scared the heck out of me i don't know if you guys saw that but something moved over there i think it was my garbage bag falling down but i literally had a shiver go down my spine when you're not expecting to see something move and something moves right by you and you're trapped inside of a very full room it's not so much fun Christmas tin. That's some neat stuff in this garbage bag. I'm going to keep on looking through here and see what else we come across. What is that? It's hair! Well, somebody kept some hair. Some of it is going to be trash, obviously, but like the pattern book and that, that's all good salvageable stuff. Another bag full of dolls, mostly Cabbage Patch. I probably have like every Cabbage Patch doll ever made coming out of this house. Put that in the to sell box. I'm inching closer to this door, folks. Look, I can almost, not quite, a little bit more and I'll be able to open that up and see what's in there. Well, I've got the door unblocked. I'm going to open it in just a second. You guys will be with me when I open it for the first time. But i got to clean up the floor a little bit first. It's an old cigar box. Old Port Straits rum flavored. And they're still in there. Gosh, they don't look good anymore. <laughs> I wonder if the mice got into that. If you're a mouse that gets addicted to eating cigarettes, it might be a tough habit hard for you to find it again yeah there's old mummified looking cigars all over the floor that box must have spilt a long time ago unfortunately there's been a lot of water 
in this room. So a lot of the things I'm finding on the floor are just trash, unfortunately. Some things were in bags. It's like somebody just did their shopping to some degree, still in the bag that it was bought in with the receipt. Sorry, my mask is in my way. So they bought it, left it in the bag, tossed it in this room. I don't get it. Why would why would you do that? I I I mean, I'm trying to find rationale in, in an environment like this, but really why what's the purpose of buying something if you're just gonna leave it in the bag and chuck it in a room? Okay, let's open this closet door, guys. Are you ready? I'm gonna turn the light on first, actually. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Dum -bum 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 -bum. Yep. Well, there's stuff in here. A lot of clothes, a lot of older clothes. Liz Claiborne jeans. Well, that's like a, a hippie kind of denim dress. Looks like it's all vintage-ish. Ladies clothes, probably from the 70s. Maybe from the 60s, some of it. That looks more 1960s-ish. I've been able to figure out a few things from going through this house. One is the lady that lived here was a ballerina at one point. Uh, her dad was a doctor. Oh, look, there's a bay jacket. That's like, if I can get that clean, that's a $300 coat. Looks like it has, still has a dry cleaners tag on it. So it was dry cleaned and then stuffed in this closet. But uh, oh, some good things. And look, the Wizard Lilac air freshener. It does not smell like lilacs in there, I can assure you. Anything on the bottom? Rackets. A shoe. Okay. But there's a pile of clothes. We'll come back to that later. I got to focus on trash still a little bit. This looks like it's a typewriter. Judging by case. Let's see. Yep. Oh, that's actually in good shape still. Thankfully, it didn't get wrecked or water damaged. That looks all right. It's an electric typewriter, too. That would have been a super fancy model. Whoa! When it was new. It just fell over a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep cleaning up in here. We'll see what else we find. Okay, a couple things. One, it's able to get in this cabinet, and it is entirely full of vintage Christmas ornaments, which might be all right because they were off the ground. They weren't touching the ground. So if there's all sorts of old ornaments up here, they're probably going to be okay. Um, as is everything that's up. Um, and the desk is probably good too because it's on metal casters. So there's a few things in here that will probably be all right. That piece of furniture, unfortunately, you can see the bottom of it is all warped and kind of moldy. So that's got to go. But I've discovered another bag here. <laughs> It was kind of hidden in the closet. And there's a lot of stuff that's wrapped up in it. Oh, another Canadian Tire Bill. Oh, a warranty card for a, or an inventory list for Zorowski crystals. That would be nice to find some of those. Okay, that's personal paperwork. Might be a lot of paperwork in here. Uh, I'm probably not going to go through this one on camera because I don't want to show any personal stuff. Uh, like financial records and things like that. Uh, but, uh, I will see if there's anything, Ooh, hang on. little earrings. I'll see if there's anything worth saving out of here. Now that I can reach this basement window, let's see if we can let a little light in here. And there's a secret little cubby under the stairs and it is just packed full of stuff kept in bags. I can see those look like Abington animal bags, which so far have been stuffed with Beanie Babies. Uh, well, maybe some toys and things down here. I'm going to get to uh, climb. Oh, look, a trunk. There's a little trunk down there. Curious about this, because this seems like they were stashing, hiding special things back here. Also curious about this, because this giant cupboard was placed in front of the this dresser drawer and from what i can tell it looks 
almost perfectly preserved like the way they had it set up. Here's that photo album. So was there anything in the drawers? Yes, the drawers are full. Full of what? I don't know. That looks like it's going to be a picture. Maybe we'll find some more jewelry. You never know. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. I've got to stop being a squirrel here and stay focused. Again, spider webs like crazy around here. Uh, let's see. Stuff that's... Okay, that's paperwork. But it's moldy. Moldy paperwork, unfortunately. There it goes. Huh, there's a mystery key hanging on the wall. I wonder what that's for. Maybe that's for the little trunk. Let's see what's in this trunk. How about that? You guys want to do that? If it were me, hey, this is just the cutest little child-sized steamer trunk here. Oh, somebody was making doilies. They're mid-doily. Bible. Okay. What's in the trunk? Oh, it's a little bit stuck. Oh, paperwork. Just a ton of paperwork and some scissors, envelopes and stuff. Well, although it's mainly just uh, paperwork inside that trunk, the trunk itself is really cute. Um, hopefully that can be salvaged. Uh, let's go in, dare I go inside? I should actually bring a garbage bag with me just so I'm prepared to clean up while I'm in there too. Uh, except I buried my garbage bags. I think I buried myself here. Can I still get out? Yeah, I guess I can still get out. I came upstairs because I thought I heard a noise. And uh, look, the dump bin's here. So I best start filling that up. Doesn't look very big. I feel like it's gonna fill up in a big hurry. Well, I've been hard at it pretty much all morning here. And I got the bin full. It says level load only. There's a couple things sticking up a tiny bit more. I hope it's gonna be okay. Um, I've asked them to bring a bigger dumpster for the next load because there's still a lot to go we have a lot in the basement we've got the garage uh some broken furniture so i'm gonna need a big bin but i'm gonna take a breather for a bit and i'll come back when they swap that bin out they've swapped out the dumpster this time i got the biggest one they had it's 20 feet long also have some friends showing up to help well josh is here in his josh mobile and my family came with me uh, so we are going to get to work here and try and get as much garbage loaded up in this bin as possible. Uh, I'm going to open up the door on the back so it's a little easier to load. Mm, I think it's got the chain here. This whole thing's going to open up and then they can just walk it right in. Easy peasy. Okay, so the game plan is, um, Josh, if you give me a second. Yeah. Where's Josh? He's over there somewhere. I'm going to get the boys set up with an activity to start getting stuff loaded in the dumpster. And then I'll take you around back, you... Uh, around back <laughs> that sounds like that sounds threatening uh but i'll show you the stuff in the garage that might work for you okay. um there are uh, masks watch your step uh oh here's the keys i need for the garage there are i thought i saw a dust mask in here maybe not uh guys there's gloves grab some gloves and I've got my gloves here too. Pass them around. Pass them all around. And then um, we'll head down to the basement and I'll show you what needs to go to the trash. Uh, Jason and Steven, you wanna come downstairs with me? So uh, probably the easiest thing to do is gonna be going out the back door and around through the yard. Let's get some... Yeah, let's just get these out of the way. Uh, Okay, we'll get this opened up. This should be a little bar. Every old house had a screen door just like that. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs, so you guys can go down. You know this girl? Diana Green Gables. 
<laughs> no, that's Fran of Green Gables. Oh, wait. That's her cousin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't as precocious as her cousin Anne. Uh, okay, so guys, these carpets, trash. Um, that mattress, trash. Um, if you st that uh, cabinet has water damage, so it, it is trash, but we can't get it out until the mattress is gone. Um, so for starters, ca any carpets that are here can go in the, in the dumpster and then the mattress and I'll try and get some other stuff cleared off for you while you're working on it. Well, uh, maybe you each grab an end so you don't kill yourselves. Um, Josh, let's go to the garage. Let's go to the garage. Okay, we'll go to the garage. Where are the clothes? Uh, in the master bedroom. Do you see there's the old clothesline here, Josh? Oh, yeah. Still works, too, actually. Oh, no, it's seized up. It's probably... Yeah, it kind of works. It's probably the, where it's tied. Oh, maybe not. Glad that, wasn't, glad that wasn't a live electrical wire. Hey, look at this clothesline. Give me a little bit of a half-car garage. Well, this is a carport. Yeah, this, but I mean, like, even this is small. Yeah, okay, I'll get this open up and I'll show you. Uh, you well, I was know. noticing, the only footprints in here are mine. The only ones are from my vans. No human being has stepped foot in here. Maybe in years. Oh, quite a few. I'd say probably like 20 years, maybe. But there is wood. There's a bunch of stuff up in the rafters. Wait. This is a four van garage. Four van? Ha! Uh, <laughs> look, we're twins. Yeah. We're shoe twins. I'm glad um, you didn't say that joke first. Oh, gosh. That was super lame. Uh, let's see, old lawn chairs. I don't know what some of this stuff is. Dominion Glass Company, Redcliffe. I don't know what's in some of these boxes. But there might be some salvageable stuff up there. That don't know what that is oh it looks like a gross old mattress there might be some lumber some materials if you see some things um that don't look like uh <laughs> like i'm gonna use them please feel free so feel free to snoop around a little bit uh the only thing i want to go through that i haven't been through is the cupboard and the there's a trunk over there oh yeah yeah so a lot of spider webs uh, guess what they're attached to? Spiders. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Um, yeah, but this is one of those like actual places where no human has walked in decades. Um, but there might be some stuff, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, feel free to browse and have a look. Um, I'm going to go in the house. I got a, it looks like there's lots of stuff, that potentially garbage in here. So I keep my boys busy for a while. Right. You don't care about the lumber or nothing like that? No, lumber can go. Okay. Right. Yeah. Hey, there's an easy bake oven. I think somebody mentioned that in the last video. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's in there. No, it's, it's, it's glass blocks or bottles. Oh, it's liquor bottles. liquor bottles. But the box is cool. It's probably no good. People want that? If I found the Easy Bake Oven to go in it, they would. Or maybe someone's missing the box and they want the box. Yeah. I mean, that is a 1960s Easy Bake. That's the original. Yeah. Um, Wait, it actually used to be more than just a microwave. <laughs> I only remember, like, from the 90s. Well, that's because you're younger than that girl with those bangs. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Well, dig around. Have fun. Uh, I got to go get uh, stuff set up for the boys inside. Okay. Okay, well, Josh is... Oh, uh, Josh, you could probably even bring your truck around back if you had to. That probably would be. Okay, we'll let Josh do some digging in there. I've got to get my gloves on and start uh, packing garbage myself. Because, well, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, the old mattresses were built different. Oh, yeah. And oddly, I noticed the last one was made by the Goodyear Tire manufacturing company. Is that what it's filled with? <laughs> Goodyear rubber? <laughs> I don't know. The It seriously said uh, it was a Goodyear brand mattress. And it's not like they said mattress division. It said Goodyear tire division. <laughs> and they were making mattresses. That's 
Zach. For when you're tired. Uh, bum, 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 bum. That's the second one. Whack. Yeah. He's on a roll. Uh, okay, I'm getting my gloves. My trusty, dusty gloves. And uh, I'm going to start hauling stuff up. The boys have been helping me carry garbage up. That means I've been having to work very quickly to get stuff emptied out. But look at the progress I've made. Maybe you can't tell. But you couldn't even walk in this room. Let me get the light on here. There we go. The floor. Oh, there's a dead mouse right there. First dead one I've seen. I haven't seen a live one, though, thankfully. Um, I am getting as much trash taken out of this room as possible so I can kind of clear my way to the good stuff. Um, now, on top of some of the stuff that's up top is fine. Like this, it's all old... Uh, Viewmaster reels. That was in a sealed tin. That's fine. That mantle clock, like some of the stuff I showed last time, that's okay. Um, but there's certainly a lot of trash. There was a chair here that Jason took out. It There was nothing left of it. It was once a cloth chair. It was completely gutted by mice. There's absolutely nothing left of it. Um, that little bookcase can go. Thank you, Jason. There's a reason why we have gloves on down here because it's not a very safe environment. I keep making a pile by the, the steps and then the kids take it out to the dumpster. I'll have to go up and see how Josh is doing pretty soon too. Amongst all this trash, I found an Alazar temple, a Shriner's hat, which is actually still in good shape because it was protected. Ha! Ah! That's why you got to go through these bags. Some of it is rotted, some of it is good, some of it is garbage. Kind of a little bit of everything in between. You know, you never know when they had a good fountain pen mixed in with all this other junk. Well, so far the only good thing that came out of that was the uh, was the Shriner's hat. Makes sense, I guess. A lot of uh, doctors and such at that time might have been part of the temple. Okay, that looks like it can go. Okay. I've been finding, look at how gross this is. That is like stuck, glued to the floor. But some of the boxes that are up top, like I said, they're still all right. Unicorn, an old uh, tin matchstick holder. <coughs> if you had a, if you had a uh, gas stove, a little uh, English brooch, and a tie clip, a monogram tie clip, lighter cufflings, just some you know little stuff that could probably be saved. I've got King Edward mild tobacco. And paperwork and stuff. Well, that's too bad. That's kind of a neat box, or it would have been. This bag was tied up, and I thought, ah, it's probably just going to be garbage. Look. There's actually kind of a neat, uh, it's a Lady Sunbeam hair dryer. It looks like an old radio. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> and cosmetics. There has been a lifetime worth of cosmetics come out of this property so far. Unfortunately, the mice or something got to this, so you can see it's all in tatters. So the rest of that can go. Now that I can actually walk in here, I can reach that light bulb. Um, I think... After that bag's done, Stephen, uh, the bed frame is accessible now, so you can grab it. Oh, nice. I'm going to grab a light bulb from upstairs so I can see what the heck I'm doing in here. That's a, that's a hefty bag. Yep. There goes Stephen. 
believe when I was in here the other day. How's it going guys? Good. I found, uh, I don't know if it's any good. I'll take down this package of them as a better likelihood. 25 watts not gonna be super bright, but it's better than the nothing that I have right now. Okay. Let's see if that does the trick. Yeah, here we go. A little bit of light. It's better. Steven's gonna grab the uh, bed frame. We're throwing it out because it's missing pieces. It's not complete. Well, no kidding. Yeah. So that is trash. I'm gonna continue loading up. It's almost worse having the light on in here. Then you can see exactly. <laughs> see exactly how bad it is sort of a victorian looking uh uh pin enamel pin there, some fancy uh get up right there which is pretty cool hey it's a melissa listen to this what you know mine were doing that too and i kept saying yeah my because I, I was off camera and it was making farting sounds and i said it's not me <laughs> um <laughs> we'll we'll do just a little bit more and then we'll go eat supper um, I'm just going to try and get a few more things bagged up. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. It's in terrible shape. Uh, and it, unfortunately, is going to end up in the trash. But this, at one point, had a music box feature built into it. Right there. And when you would have wound it... That part still works. That'd be eerie, huh? Yeah, I was about to say nothing quite as ominous as an old music box. Wait, hang on. I'm going to stand back and give people the ambience of this room. Came outside to see how the dumpster's doing. Still a bit of room in here, which is good. And Josh is here. What happened to you? Are you working in the coal mine? Yeah, <laughs> up in the attic. You well, went up. You did you go up there? Well, crawling around. I mean, I didn't, you can't crawl up there because it's just a two by four rafter thing. But uh, it is very dusty up there. Uh, it, well, it's less dusty where you wiped your face <laughs> and entire body. I wouldn't touch <laughs> your face again with those hands. I don't know if you've seen yourself lately. Is it? is it really bad? No, it's fine. Are you going out anywhere fancy <laughs> after this? <laughs> you should go directly to like one of the nicest restaurants we have in town. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, <laughs> have you not checked your face yet? I look good. Mm, well, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you can write a country song on my face. Josh has been very busy in the garage and check this out. He actually found the, uh, fingertip start lawn boy. Kind of a weird design. It's got like a wheel here. The other wheels offset. It has offset wheels on it. This will be cool to clean up and it's not seized. I might be able to get that thing running, which would be cool. Can you there... see this? Broom hockey. Oh, yeah, curling. Oh, is it for curling? That's a curling broom. Oh yeah, curl master. Yeah, that's neat. That's super cool. Thanks for helping to throw stuff out as you- No worries. As you find things for yourself too. And look, we even found there's an old sign for a doctor's office here. On You're telling me I can't have it. Well, this is like my bread and butter. This is like what I do is sell old signs no, and I, stuff. I, I was I kept it out of the truck just in case. That was uh, that was an Alex. Uh, it's definitely an Alex. It's super cool though. But J A Joshua Alexander, you know. <laughs> I mean. Well, a few more years of school, you could have a sign like that of your own. I was just going to turn it into like a table or something. Mm, well, maybe we can talk. That, that's pretty cool. No, no. I, I actually haven't been through this space much at all. I'm impressed you got the door to open. That was completely barricaded shut. Yeah. This garage has a dirt floor. So it's probably not helping with the dust situation. Okay, I'm going to head back in the house. Gosh, there's an awful lot of trash in here. I We've almost filled the dumpster. Yeah. And we still have all this to clean. I'm going to be at this for a while, I think, like usual. I'm going to go back inside. Um, Steven, there's some broken lawn chairs kind of on the uh, wall. Yep, I see them. Yep, those can go. And 
What was that crate from up top there? This? Yeah. I said cedar chest on there. Oh. You were mentioning that chest, but... It's... No, no, no. There's a cedar chest in the basement. So oh. that's the original box for the cedar chest that is in the basement. Do you want to do you want to keep it? Um, I don't know if it'll add value, but maybe. It's kind of cool. Okay. It's neat. Um, and also, Stephen, these old tires can go in the dumpster, too. Yep. All right. All right. Oh, Jason. Yeah. You're here. Uh, there's some old car tires right on the other side of that wall that can go in the dumpster. Right. Thank you. Okay, I better get back inside and keep bagging stuff up. It's also um, kind of a little past supper time and I owe these guys dinner, so um, we'll probably call it quits pretty soon here. I find children like to eat. Found this old copy of the white pages and I'm curious to know if I'm in it or if, if my... Uh, parents are in it arch oh gee that was my aunt janice no i guess we're not listed in here must have had unlisted number at that time <coughs> well i didn't find um my info in the phone book but i found melissa's dad's phone number but uh oddly I can't show you because they still have that phone number. They've had it for that long, I guess. Like that's a 30 year old phone book uh, and he's in it. Crazy. We're just about to leave. And I found this little box here. Inside this little box are a couple tiny little plates, not very big, but the thing that's important about them is that they're solid silver. So that's a couple big chunks of silver right there. Pretty good score for the final minutes before we leave. Then we go upstairs, gather the family, and we'll call it a day.